Hello, Brevard Public Schools. My name is Stephen, and welcome to the Big Idea Experience. All right, well, this certainly is a different way to do the Big Idea Experience. You watching at your home instead of at your school, that's definitely different. Speaking of different, let's play a game. I wanna see if you guys can find the differences between these two pictures. Let me get them up on screen for you. All right, so we got these two pictures. Although they look the same, let's see if you can find all the differences. You ready, set, go. Wow, very nice. Some of you were able to find all those differences. If you did, amazing job. Well, actually, I'm kind of stalling right now because my co-host Josh said he was caught in a storm. He was supposed to be here by now, but he's not. And I don't know if he's telling the truth or not because uh, last time I checked, the weather wasn't that bad when I got here this morning. Um, so we'll, we'll just start with Adam, how about that? Uh, let me introduce to you what our big idea is for this month. If you don't know what a big idea is, it's simply a word that we teach you that you can apply to your life so you can help the world around you. Now this month's big idea, we're gonna reveal to you, but you need to help me out by doing a drum roll on your leg. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Is that you guys? Wow, maybe there is a storm coming in. All right, well, let's try that again, all right? Count backwards from three. Three, two, one. That's right, humility. Humility is simple. It's putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Wow, I feel like that's getting a little crazy out there. Uh, but anyway, humility. It looks like a storm is about to come in here. Hello, mere mortals. Josh, is that you? Hey, Steven, what are you doing? Uh, actually, I'm a little- Impressed? I know, right? I was gonna say confused. I mean, why are you dressed like that? What are you doing? I'm in April shower, duh! Stop, stop that, stop that. You will not understand how hard it is driving this thing. My vision was just so cloudy. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I don't want to shock you. Uh, you know what they say, two's company, but three is a cloud. Are you done yet? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just thought I was on a roll. A roll of thunder! Ha! Bazinga. Okay, aside from telling cheesy puns, are you gonna tell us why you're dressed like an April shower or an a cloud, whatever? Hello, I thought it would be obvious. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say we are totally lost. Don't you know what this month's big idea is? Stop, stop. I know, I'm wondering if you know. Oh, come on, this is so obvious. I'm humidity, duh. But I know I normally get the big ideas all mixed up, but this one, I got in the bag. I am literally the definition of wetness. Oh boy. Well, I guess no one can blame you for trying. Wait, what do you mean? Josh, this month's big idea is not humidity, it's humility. Let's look at it. Putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. I guess I just had my head in the clouds. It has nothing to do with weather? Afraid not, man. Uh, all you were watching at home, check out this video about humility. Well, I hate to just leave it like this. What do you mean? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I gotta storm out. I asked for that one. I'm lost 
Watson, and I work so hard to bring you amazing stories that I think I deserve some updates to my contract. Lawson, you don't have a contract. But see, that's the problem. I mean, I mean, Taylor gets Ben and Jerry's in her green room. Kanye requires pistachios and hot sauce, and Will Ferrell, Will, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell gets one fake tree on wheels. Okay, why would you want a fake tree on wheels? That's not the point. Anyways, before we finalize my contract, I've got an awesome story you should hear. Let me introduce the birthday boy, Sam. This year, mom said Sam can plan whatever he wants for his whole birthday day and invite three friends. He spent two whole months planning it out, down to the last detail. Donuts for breakfast, topped with bacon and ice cream. After that, they're gonna go play mini golf. Sumo wrestling style. While shouting, Geronimo. Then it's pizza for lunch with pepperoni so spicy, the pizza bites back. Then it'll be time for an epic battle of manhunt in the dark while Sam shouts, freedom. Sam knows he's gonna have the most amazing birthday ever. But then the day before Sam's birthday, his friend Noah sprains his ankle while doing the hamster dance and tripping over his hamster. There's no way Noah can do all the stuff Sam's planned. So Sam plans to invite this cool kid, Jin, instead. Cause then Jin might invite Sam to his party. But then Sam thinks about how lonely Noah will be with his mom feeding him healthy foods and making him play math games. Ugh. Sam decides to give up his perfect day and announces, we'll take the party to Noah. And even though they can't do the cool stuff Sam planned, they still have a blast taking over the world and eating the world's best pizza. Birthday pizza! So kids, never dance the hamster dance with your hamster. But do remember that humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. You know what, I could go for some pistachios, but I probably don't need a fake tree on wheels. Yeah, that'd be pushing it. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. Wow, well, if you asked me at the beginning of the school year, we would actually be filming a big idea experience. I probably would not have believed you, but yet here we are filming this virtual big idea experience talking about humility. And maybe you're at home and maybe this has kind of just thrown you off a little bit. Maybe you're actually happy because you get to sleep in a little bit, or maybe you're lonely because you really, really miss your friends, or maybe you're just frustrated because let's be honest, school at home can be kind of difficult, especially when you do all this work and then everything disappears. That's happened to my kids a couple times. But if you take a second and look around, you'll see a lot of great things happening in our world. You see people helping each other. You see uh, people buying groceries for people. Uh, neighbors calling other, other neighbors asking if they need anything. There's a lot of great things happening and we can be a part of that too. When you're actually uh, at home and you're putting others first, that's a great form of humility. If you're sharing toys with people, if you're sharing screen time with your, with your siblings, when you're not complaining to your parents, when you just all you want to do is get what you want to do, that is showing humility. So three things I want to share with you. Number one, it's okay to feel what you're feeling. It's understandable because it's different. Number two, look for people who are helping other people and thank them. Show them gratitude. And then lastly, number three, let's be uh, humble around our house. Let's show humility to those around us. And let's use this big idea like we've never used a big idea before. I believe in you guys. I believe you guys can do this. Watch this video of really what humility is about. The season has gone by so fast. We didn't even think we'd be able to go to the tournament and no one expected us to win it. But all the way, Coach reminded us that we're all in it together. And we did it together, all of us.
I pitched my first no-hitter. I couldn't believe it. But it wasn't just me. Danny got that short hop in the first inning and saved me. And of course, Tank stole that home run right at the fence. It surprised me when there was a reporter that wanted to talk to me about the no-hitter. But what surprised me even more was that she was forgetting about the rest of the team. It's like I had to go over the entire game for her to show her how great our whole team was. I told her about Tank. Tank thanked me the way she does. I even told her about Danny's mom and how she always gets us water. She's part of the team too. Coach is right. Putting the team ahead of ourselves changes a lot of things. <laughs> I gotta go. Love, Seda. Wow, well thank you all for tuning in to the Big Idea Experience. Thank you all you teachers and administrators. We know it feels like your work has probably almost doubled since you're now working at home with the kids. And we're so thankful for all of your hard work. Let's practice this idea of humility. Let's practice it in our homes and let's practice it at school when we get back, whenever that is. We want to invite you guys to join us this week for Easter. Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we're having something called Easter Jam. And then on Sunday, you can join us for Easter Sunday church services at 8.30, 10, and 11.30 at cpchurch.net. Or you can join us live on Facebook and YouTube. You guys have a great month, and I hope, I hope, I hope we get to see all your faces again soon. Have a good day. What time it is, we're gonna start this party again. One, two, three, yeah, let's begin. Move your feet as we try to be in. As loud as we can. We've done this before, we're gonna do it again. Get out on the floor and dance with all of your friends. You can call it a party, cause that's just what it is. So come on, everybody. We're gonna start this party again. One, two, three, yeah, let's begin. Move your feet as we try to be in. This is our moment. This is our chance. Yeah, we got every reason to dance. Move with the music. Raise up your hands. Yeah, we got every reason to dance. Dance, dance. We're gonna dance. We got a reason to lift up our hands. We got a reason to call all our friends. Turn up the music as loud as we can. as loud as we can. We've done this before, we're gonna do it again. Get out on the floor and dance with all of your friends. You can call it a party, cause that's just what it is. So come on, everybody, everybody. This is our moment, this is our chance. Yeah, we got every reason to dance. Move with the music, raise up your hands. Yeah. Turn out the music as loud as we can.